not a good day in the fish room. Stay tuned. All right, fishy folks. Happy Sunday fun day. Not much of a fun day for me. It's Saturday morning. Um, and I started at the beginning Thursday night when I just before I did my stream I noticed the male of this breeding pair of marble angels was not doing well kind of was on his side lying at the bottom of the tank he was still alive I quickly did a little bit of a water change and added some some meds that I had only thing I had EM erythromycin and general cure knowing that probably wasn't gonna do anything but I thought I'd try he passed overnight I didn't sensationalize a fish dying. I didn't show me burying him. I didn't cry at his graveside. I put him in a bag and put him in the garbage. Um, now the female here I notice has this cottony like mess on her tail. So I also noticed that these angels next door have um, sort of a reddish line down their spine their gills are looking a little red and i realized that about two weeks ago i made a change to these this section of the auto water change system i lowered the time what i thought was five minutes now when i went to check it was actually 25 minutes so it's getting much less water changes per day than it should <clears throat> add that to the fact i've been lazy as heck uh, with filter maintenance in here and overall maintenance in the fish room that I think water quality just went downhill now a smart man would have checked the water quality but that's not me so I just started uh, acting and doing water changes I did call or reach out to a friend Mr. Daniel Anderson from Hypnotic Aquatics who's a, a, a fantastic angel breeder as a matter of fact that's who I got these delicious looking angels from there's four of them in here. He had he he just sent them to me as a gift, um, and they look fantastic. Anyway, I reached out to him, and he suggested uh, clean clean water. So I did about an 80% water change in this tank. Scrub the side, gravel vac. I'm gonna let everything settle, gravel vac again, top the water off, and then he suggested heavy dose of methylene blue to help with that fungus. Um, and do that for three or four days at least, stop feeding, which I will do. <clears throat> These guys also clean water, cleaned everything. <coughs> do have to gravel back again, things have settled. Um, and I'm gonna treat preventively with EM erythromycin and General Cure. General Cure has Metro, so if there's something internal, hopefully the Metro will get it. Um, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, not good in the fish room. Um, I do have a bunch of orders going out on Monday. Luckily, they have nothing to do with these tanks. They're on a different part of the system. So everybody should be good there. Uh, the other thing that's new in the fish room, well, there are, actually there are two things. Got a new toy to play with. Yes, it's a disaster, deal with it. Got a new toy to play with, TDS-EZ, TDS meter. I don't really know how to use it other than dip it and see what the number says. I don't know what the numbers mean for the most part. I have to check it out. The other thing I got are these fancy slates or tiles. I was looking through Lowe's and uh, I come across the tile section because I was looking for tiles. Because as you know, the tiles that I were using <laughs> dumbass, don't fit in the jar. So Tyler from Fish Freaks Plus said, hey, go get three by 16 inch tiles. They fit perfect. They're, they'll stick out of the jar, so you don't have to put your hand in the jar when you want to take it out, blah, blah, blah. Well, I couldn't find three by 16. Did find three by 12, and they were 82 cents each at Lowe's. So I paid about six bucks for these seven. And you can see they fit perfect. Ta-da! So. <clears throat> that's what's up so far in the fish room um, I did end up adding crushed coral to all the tanks that tank really needs to be cleaned don't look at that no 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 um, I will be adding more probably to these 20 highs um, and I think that's really about it in the fish room 
All right, fishy folks, 24 hours later, just did a gravel vac and another 50% water change. And uh, the fish are acting better, these guys at least. Uh, they're not all just hanging in the corner. Well, I guess that one still is kind of. But you can see it looks like there's ammonia burn on their uh, dorsal fins by their gills. Um, so hopefully everything heals and everybody's healthy. Uh, you can't really see her in here because of the methylene blue, but she seems also to be acting better. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Um, everybody else in the fish room is doing healthy, so doing healthy, doing well and seems healthy, so that's good. <coughs> uh, we just fed some Fish Freaks Plus community pellets, the uh, half mil size, I don't know if you can see them floating in there, but what I like about these uh, Fish Freaks Plus food, these little pellets are, I can take the bag and go around the fish room and feed every tank. In fact, I think I might have missed the molly tank, but now that's Krill Crumble Community Bites is what they're called, Fish Freaks Plus Community Bites, 46% protein. Um, they're half mil size, so they're perfect for my fish room where I have, you know, tiny fish like this, bigger fish like these, high fin layer tails, sword tails, and then, you know, big fish like these angels, so I love them. All right, a little bit of a downer with these guys over here, but hopefully they'll pull, th they'll pull through, and uh, that'll be that. I'll be back Wednesday, hopefully with a big fish room update with some changes going on. And I will be also doing this week a guppy tub special. I'm gonna take a look at the guppies, you know, pull them out. We got about a month left at most before I gotta pull them in because it'll be getting too cool for them at night. Um, last night it was about 68 degrees outside. I'm sure those guppy tubs got down to about 68 degrees and uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. Uh, 